Normally when we have to load an image in any HTML page using the IMG element, then we have no way of knowing the progress of image being downloaded over the network. This simply means that we cannot usually show a progress bar of the image being downloaded into the IMG element. There is no direct way of knowing the downloaded progress of image being downloaded by the IMG element but there is an indirect way in which we can compute the progress and that is by using the XML HTTP request object and promises. In this video, I am going to show you a very convenient way to show the image loading progress of any number of IMG elements in your web page. So in the code, the first thing that I will do is I am going to add a progress element and also an IMG element to show the progress bar and the image respectively. So progress and now for this progress element, I am going to set the ID and let's set the ID as image progress and let's also set the value and max value so the initial value can be 0 and the max value can be 100 so max equals to 100 and now let's also create an IMG element let's set the ID as my image and I'm going to Keep the src attributes value as blank because we are going to set it by first fetching or downloading the image using the xhr or xml http request object and then when we have received the image data then we will set the src of this img element so that's all we need to do for the html part of the body and now it's time to um, write the javascript code so over here we are going to create an object which is going to facilitate the download of the image from the network along with providing and updating the progress when it is downloading the image. Whenever we will receive an update in the progress then we will update this progress elements value as well to show an update in the progress bar on the web page. So for this the first thing which I am going to do is I am going to create a function and let's just call it get image loader so this function is going to um, return the image loader object which we are going to use so let image loader equals to an object and now i'm going to add a property to this image loader so image loader and then um, let's name the property as load image this is going to be a function so goes to function now this function will be called whenever we will need to load any image for any img element this is going to accept two arguments the first one is going to be the url of the image the second one is going to be a callback for the progress update event so whenever the progress will be updated then this callback function is going to be called by this image loaders load image function so let's just call this progress update call back now what we need to do is we need to create and return a promise so that um, we can chain the success callbacks whenever we will call this load image function this is going to be very convenient because normally if we will not use a promise then we will have to chain another callback um, when the image has been loaded and that is pretty cumbersome so let's just create a promise and then return it first so return a new promise and um, this is going to have a function so resolve and reject let's create an arrow function when this promise will be returned then we can chain its success callback so inside this promise the first thing that we will do is we will create an xhr object so where xhr equals to new xml http request we need to provide the url and the request type for this xhr object so xhr dot open and the request type is going to be get let's also provide the image url which we are providing as an argument We also need to set the um, the response type. So xhr dot response type is going to be um, an array buffer because we are going to receive the stream of data of the image. So and then we are going to use this array buffer 
um, into a blob to set the image source so let's just do that first wire up the on progress event of this xhr so xhr dot on progress equals to a new function we will not directly bind with this progress update callback because first we will need to compute the actual progress so it is going to be a function and we are going to receive the event as an argument all right so now in this function first we will check if the length of this event can be computable this can be checked by um, checking this length computable property if it is computable then we can check the progress otherwise if it is not computable then no progress has been returned in this event so now we can call this progress update callback and now in this function we are going to provide the actual progress as an argument and for that let's just convert this to an integer and now we just need to fetch the percentage of the progress and that can be done by simply um, dividing the event dot loaded by event dot total and let's just divide this by actually not divide let's just multiply this by 100 so we have wired up the on progress event and now we have to wire up the load end event so whenever the image has been loaded then we can call another function which will um, set the progress as 100 and it will also need to resolve this promise which we are returning with the information of the image data so let's just do that so on load end equals to function the first thing which we are going to do is we are going to call this progress update callback with 100% value of the progress bar so we are going to create an object and let's call it options so what we need to do is we need to first fetch all the response headers and from those response headers we are going to fetch the um, the content type of the image and then we are going to use that content type to create a blob along with the response data and with that blob we are going to create an object url and then attach it to the window so that that url can then be used as a source of the img element it may sound strange to you but when you will see it working then you will understand how this works so the next thing that we will do is we are going to fetch the headers and the headers can be fetched by calling xhr.get all response headers function now we need to use a regular expression to fetch the content type value and what we can do is we can create another variable let's just call it where type match because we are going to match the content type and so headers is going to be a continuous string with all the headers in a new line i will show you how the header response will look like by um, debugging the code in the browser's console so let's first match it with a suitable regular expression so headers dot match so this is the regular expression which we are going to use to fetch the content type so when we will retrieve a match then it is going to be an array because um, two lines are going to be matched by this the first line is going to be the key value pair of the content type and its value and in the um, in the second item we are going to get the type of the image which we are going to use for the blob so first we need to check if we have fetched or if we have matched anything or not and for that i'm just going to first check if type match exists or not and then let's also check if it has the um, the second item in it which is the type of the image so when that is done we can set the um, the options objects type property which we will use with the blob so type equals to type match and then the second item and now let's create a new blob so where blob equals to new blob and then we are going to provide in an array the response of this xhr request and then in the options we are going to provide the options object and now finally we can resolve this promise by 
providing this blob as an object URL which can be used for the image elements src attribute so let's just call resolve and then we can use window.url.create actually just yes, create object URL and then let's just provide the blob as an argument inside it all right so our work is more or less done for this method the final thing which we need to do is um, we need to actually send the XHR request and that can be done by simply calling xhr.send so when we will call this then um, the request will be sent and the image will be started to download and then finally we also need to return this image loader object from this closer function get image loader and we can do this over here So now we can start to use this image loader object to load an image for our img element. So I am going to show you a way to download and test this code in our local file system. So let's first fetch the references of this img element and this progress element. So let my image equals to document.get element by id and we are going to provide the id of this image and then similarly we can use the progress elements id to fetch its reference to and then what we need to do is we need to fetch the image loader we can do that by calling this get image loader function this will return the image loader object to us and now let's create the function which will update the progress every time the progress event of the xhr is called so let's call it update progress and this is going to accept the argument of the progress value itself and whenever it will be called then we are simply going to set the value of this image progress element and now finally it's time to load the image so image loader dot load image and in the load image we are going to provide the name of the image which is in my local file system so it, this is image.jpg and then we can provide the um, the callback for the uh, for the updated progress which is this update progress function and then we can chain the success callback by simply providing an arrow function this is going to be um, the the object url and when this arrow function will be called then we will simply set the src attribute of the img element with this image object url which is being returned and that's pretty much it so i have just run this code and this image has been loaded instantly with this progress bar it looks like the code is working but i'm not sure because i didn't saw this progress increasing when the image is being downloaded so what we will do is we are going to throttle the download of our chrome browser and this can be done by going to the network tab and then um, click on this down arrow for the throttling and right now no throttling is there but i am just going to select this fast 3g throttling and this connection is kind of slow when it is compared um, to the broadband connection which i have so let's just select this fast 3g and i'm just going to zoom it so that you guys can see it over here this is the throttling preset which i have selected or you can also create your own throttling preset if you are really into it but right now this should serve our purpose and now let's just refresh the page again and now you can see the progress increasing slowly because the throttling is there to limit the image download and when this progress will be finished then our image will be downloaded from the local file system And there you go the image has been loaded into the img element and now it's time for me to show you while debugging how this entire thing is working so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a breakpoint um you know what over here in this load and function wire up and let's just remove the throttling first because let's not wait again because we know that the progress is working and let's just refresh the page again over here the code has stopped execution so the first thing that we did is to call this progress update callback with the 100 value okay fair enough 
now we are fetching the headers and this is how the headers look like it is a continuous string but all of the um, the key value pairs are in a new line so we are going to match this content type with a regular expression and we need to fetch this content type to use for the blob so now when the type is matched then we have two items or two elements um, in this collection the first one is this key value pair and the second one is this image forward slash jpeg which we need now we are just checking if it exists or not if it does then we are setting the type of the object and then we are creating a new blob and when it is done then we are creating a new object url and i'm just going to show you how it looks like this is how it looks like so it looks like this blob and then the um, the localhost url with the port 5500 and then some um, some you know grid value and when this url will be opened in the browser or in this window then we will be returned with this uh, with this blob stream which is happening when we are setting the src attribute of the img element because it is loading the image by using this url and then finally we will get the image for our img element and that's pretty much it so this is how we can create the progress bar for our image element this code can surely be improved to handle all the different kinds of errors which may arise if the image is not loaded or um, you know anything can happen when we are dealing with the network requests but for the most part this code will work for most of the browsers available out there if you have any other questions or if you have any confusions then feel free to use the comments area to ask them and finally if you think that you like this video and you think that this is going to be helpful for you then don't be shy and place a like on this video and also subscribe to this channel this will make sure that you will always be the first to know about the latest video updates and with that, I'm going to take my leave and I will see you in the next video. Till then, have a great time.